you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. It's crispy on the outside. It's soft and moist on the inside. It's the way that I like it. Yes. Hey students, welcome to Deputy Principal's Answer Reddit Questions. Do you have any questions about school culture or CCA? Or do you have any questions about your future life in RI? Fret not, we have here our dynamic deputy duo to answer all of your burning questions. Today, we have Ms. Ng Mei Si and Mr. Brian Ang with us, a duo so dynamic, they will charm your socks off. They are the Spongebob to your Patrick, Lee Tom to your Jerry, and the black to your ping. Fun fact, Miss Ong here was actually an ex-student and ex-history teacher in RI, while Mr. Ang is an ex-econs teacher in RI. Hence, they are the best people to answer your questions on RI. Without further ado, let's dive into Dynamic Deputy Duo Answers Reddit Questions. Okay, so Cupcake Lover four five seven asks, "Will I be able to cope with my studies if I only enter RI in year five? I think I think the the same question applies to many other schools, right? Uh, learning in a JC is going to be different from learning in the secondary school, and I think that's the same for all JCs as well. Um, so as long as you are willing to put in the hard work, as long as you are willing to work the teachers to adjust um, the way that you approach your materials, and you know have a sense of adventure. You know, reach out, uh, talk to people, work with teachers. Uh, I think it's going to be all right. Okay. The next question comes from Danielle. Um, I think she asked uh, about Wednesday self-study day, uh, and whether you know she's heard from her seniors. Don't know whether that's exactly right. Okay, that you don't go to school on Wednesday and instead have online lectures. Okay, now first things first. Wednesday is what we term as a gap day here in RI. The whole purpose, objective of a Wednesday is to ensure that you actually you know have this skill set as you moved out of the JC environment, which we term as self. Uh, directed management. Okay, so it's actually a day where there are no structured lessons, but there are perhaps CCA happening on that day itself. You may or may not choose to view your lectures online on that day itself because lectures are placed ahead of time. You therefore take your own time in the entire week to view those online lectures, not necessarily on Wednesday. So the whole concept of a gap day on Wednesday is to ensure that you actually therefore pick up the skill of you know, managing your entire time throughout the entire week or throughout the entire two weeks uh, and through that as you venture out after the A-levels in the JC, in the work environment, that's exactly the kind of scenario that we would want you to pick up. Okay, um, I love many dogs. Hi, uh, you asked, since Ara is full of geniuses, <laughs> well, I lose out on opportunities as I am simply a medium-sized fish in a big ocean. Uh, this again is a common question, right? Because there's always this, um, do you want to be a big fish in a small pond or do you want to be a small fish in a big pond kind of question. Uh, so this is quite easy to answer. Actually, I think let's not forget that uh, regardless of the size of the pond, the fish is actually the same size. It's got nothing to do with the size. So I think yeah. the right question to ask yourself Right, uh, the two questions. One is, uh, which is the pond in which you can become a stronger fish at the end of two years? I think that's important. In what environment uh, do you grow to become stronger such that you are more ready post JC? Okay, because it's not just about doing well in the pond right now, right here these two years, but we care that you graduate well and that you're in a good position to do whatever you want to, want to after JC. Right, so that's the first thing. And the second thing is, um, how do you deal with things, right, when you feel like currents are stronger or weaker at different points? If you are the kind that feel like, okay, with stronger currents, you are more motivated, you know, to stretch yourself and to swim upstream, then maybe this is a place for you. But if you're not sure, then um, keep looking. <laughs> Okay, I think this is an interesting question from Unsteady Wish, uh, who states that in comparison to the stereotype of always mugging students in RI, what are the students actually like? Oh my gosh, 
How is it in the very first place that you would think that RI students are mugging? I think if you ask any teachers, Do you think that? they will probably ask, they will probably tell you that we would like students to be mugging more. Okay, <laughs> I think in RI you will find the diversity uh, of students. Okay, I mean of course there are those who will continue or are interested in their studies, and I think we appreciate the fact that they. Uh, you know, go into depth, but uh, there is a lot of other students here who participates in a lot of other activities other than just academic studies, and I think that's exactly what we want. So, if you are someone who likes to, you know, do other things other than your academic studies, please do come to RI. From Unsteady Wish, we go to Mi Wyong. As someone who is not particularly skilled or experienced in any field, I'm worried about my future CCA options in RI. Um, generally speaking, how much prior experience do people in RI CCAs need? Okay, um, so first of all, you are probably skilled and experienced in something. So please have uh, more confidence in yourself, right? We always think that we are worse than we are, but that's not true. If you think about what you really like, you will definitely find something, okay? And then the second thing is that everyone, right, uh, will get the opportunity to attend trials in CCAs, right? So that's not to worry too much about that. Uh, but of course, with trials, some people get selected, some people don't. Um, but the good thing is that there is a range of CCAs. You may not be super experienced in something, but you could be experienced in another thing, right? So uh, as we said before, just nothing stops you from trying. Okay, the opportunity to try is always there. Uh, think very hard and be confident about what you really like and you're interested in and be open to trying out a plan B if it doesn't work for plan A. And finally, right, CCAs being CCAs, uh, nothing stops you from continuing to uh, do something that's got to do with your hobbies, right? Like photography or something, even if you don't get into the club, nothing stops you from doing that at the JC level. Yep. Now, Vanilla Chocolate 3 says, Hi, O-level student here. When you go to RJC, like, are people there extremely competitive or generally quite chill? Uh, first of all, there's no more RJC. Okay, we have reintegrated. It's now known as RI. Uh, and I think let's just, you know, set aside this concept of competition. I don't think that you know competitive is a bad word or something that we want to actually move away i think competition is important because you know iron sharpens iron and i think that's exactly what you want to actually be looking out for here as what uh, miss ng previously had said you know the question really is how do you as a fish in a pond grow right and if there is competition obviously you will actually be able to grow stronger so are students in raffles here uh, competitive or are they quite chill they are both and that's exactly what we are looking for you know the competition but at the same time knowing when to actually chill when to actually take a break uh, and you know and, and that's the kind of spirit that we want Okay, the next one is from um, Treasury L1R5 here. How many from previous batches end up in IVs or Oxbridge? So we don't, we don't really uh, share statistics, right? Because statistics are not meaningful to each individual student. So that's the first thing to remember, okay? It's not about the overall li likelihood or probability. We're more interested in how uh, everyone finds the area that you want to go into after JC. So we have a, a really, really uh, specialized higher education office uh, with counsellors who can help you uh, talk about the causes you're interested in some uh, careers you're interested in tons of exposure talks as well from speakers and then to university causes and even applications so all that support is here uh, as long as uh, you work with us right and uh, we can talk you through uh, this interest and help you find where where, where you belong to best uh, after JC yeah. Now next, I think this is a question that a good number of you have in mind. Uh, Tomato Pretz as well as Ting King Fai Ting okay, uh, has actually asked this. Uh, is there an obvious divide between JAE and RP students? Uh, is it difficult to find friends if I'm a JAE student since IP students around know each other? I think this divide, it's sometimes it could be real, uh, but most of the time it's very much imaginary. Right? Because a divide is what you make it out to be. Uh, we have students who are from 
uh, the JAE track who come in on their own as in you know they're the only person here in the school but they moved on to make new friends and you know they moved on to actually take on leadership positions or other positions in school and participate very well in the school so really I think the question should actually be how confident am I to come in to an environment which will benefit me, which will actually allow me to grow alongside other people whom you think are of your you know, same calibre. So if you think that you are willing to come in, give it a try, I think this is the best environment for you. I also think just to add on, right, that many J students, they come in at the point of coming in, they could be a bit anxious. But when we talk to them after six months, eight months and a year, they always, always tell us like, actually the kids from RP are very friendly one. So, so actually that's true, that's true, you know. So at the start, it will always sound a little bit overwhelming. But actually eventually you'll realise that everyone is here to want to make new friends, regardless of what school they come from. And in fact, I think for JE students, they come in with a different set of experience. And therefore, our RP students also find that learning from the JE mm. students is just as enriching in so much as JE students learn from RP students. So I think it's actually a synergistic um, kind of uh, environment and that's like, exactly what uh, you should actually be looking out for. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then there's, uh, I think it's a last question here from Tanking Fighting. Uh, are there many school events that can help us uh, relax a little bit? So this question makes it sound like RI is a... <laughs> it's a only mugging place. Yeah, it's a concentration <laughs> camp where, you know, people are like, uh, given structured time slots to only study and then go for a break for some mandated periods of time. Uh, JC Life is not like that. JC Life table is actually very different from secondary school timetable as well. You have three blocks in the middle of classes at different times, so you could meet different friends, right, uh, during your breaks. And um, there are school events, yes, and these school events are meant to bring different students together. Uh, JE students, um, IP students, we have events that we, we call uh, Take 5 events, so they are like goose chasers. We even screen movies, right, in uh, Under the Stars uh, at the end of each term to help students relax. Yeah, so there are these events, but please don't go away with the mindset that, you know, besides these events, then it's just 24 7 mugging. It's not true, lah. You know, JC students have autonomy over the, the way you schedule your, your lessons, your revision time and nothing stops you and in fact you should. We encourage you to also have your own um, school and work-life balance, right? Spend time with your family, spend time with your friends. Uh, it's not just school that gives you that chance to relax. Yeah. Yeah, so if you think you're confident, you're seeking adventure, you know that you will make good use of opportunities then come to our right. Yeah, then the dynamic don't want to meet you too. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the surprise question that we have planned for y'all. We're not, we're not looking forward to this one. Oh no, it, it will be very exciting. Is it? I, I hope oh, it's surprising oh, and not oh. shocking. Yeah? <laughs> uh, we, we'll see. How highly do you think Raffles Institution is rated on Google? Well, here's a one-star review of RI. Their waffles are mid. <laughs> Raffles Institution, but no waffles. Please do not go to this school. Well, we heard from y'all that waffles are mid. But is it really true? Waffles. Here, we have our deputy principals to tell us the truth. As our food connoisseurs, may we invite the waffles? Okay, so now that they have their waffles, um, would you like to try a bite each? Yeah. Well, how are you rated? I think this is pretty nice. Quite nice one. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 1 being not so good and 5 being amazing, spectacular, show-stopping, where would it be? I'll give it a 4. I'll give it a 4 too. It's crispy on the outside, it's soft and moist on the inside. It's the way that I like it, yes. Okay, if you ask me, I won't describe it to you. My only thing to you is this, that I like it. I rate it as a four, but whether you like it or not, it's really for you to come in to taste it yourself. So, join RI to have your waffles. <laughs> <laughs>